What's going on? What's going on? We back, Goodfellas Sports TV. We back up in this thing. And I saw a clip from uh, LeBron James, uh, HBO Barbershop Talk. I think that's what it's called, special that he's doing. And on there, they had Drake. And I linked the clip to the description so you know this trio. And um, Drake's ex ex pretty much explained where the Kanye beef uh, starts at, man. But make sure y'all guys check us out. We on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you want to make a donation, the PayPal link is in the description. All those links in the description, man. I shout out to everybody that's sharing the, you know, the videos and screen reporting them and putting them out there, retweeting them out. Much blessings to you guys. Appreciate it. And, um, you know, Drake broke down the whole situation that, that pretty much led to the, um, the, the, the uh, Pusha T beef, all right? And, um, Apparently, Drake said that Kanye West, you know, told him, I'm paraphrasing here, that he wanted to help people. He wanted to be like the Quincy uh, Quincy Jones of music and help different people. In order that for that to happen, Drake would have to play his entire, you know, play what he had of Scorpion. He said about, about around that time he had 60% left of Scorpion done. And, you know, uh, Kanye West, you know, pretty much uh, was like, yeah, I like that. He gave him, you know, lift yourself up, lift yourself um, as a beat. And, um, you know, I think that made Scorpion. I haven't listened to Scorpion at all. But, you know, he said he gave him a beat. And then he told um, Drake that come out to Wyoming. You know what I'm saying? And we can finish working up on Scorpion. I can help you with Scorpion. And, uh, you know, his his producer, 40, went out there. He said, something ain't right. This guy got to be making the album. And apparently uh, Kanye got Drake out to uh, Wyoming. And, uh, you know, Drake helped Kanye with... Uh, the album, I don't know if it came out yet, whatever the album is called, I think I pushed back. And he said, you know, when they, he's supposed to be out in Wyoming with Kanye working on Scorpion, he ended up working on Kanye joint. And he told Kanye um, his drop day, he played all the songs, like I said, 60% of Scorpion he had done. And, um, you know, pretty much Kanye started putting re uh, releasing his other artist dates around, time, around the same time as the June 15th Scorpion date release, I think it was, he said. And uh, basically, he also, you know, vented to Kanye up there. He said that, you know, I told Kanye I was having some trouble with my son's mother. Um, and, you know, he was having trouble with that. And he was trying to look for guidance and advice, you know. And before that, excuse me, when he was first telling him when they was first at the first meeting spot, listening to Scorpion, told him that he was in a different place in his life. He wanted to be there for his son. He's a family man. He wanted to be the Quincy Carter and stuff. And, uh, you know, Drake was, you know, trying to get some advice from Kanye. And then... You know, the first thing they tell you, dudes, don't trust these industry dudes, all right? Kanye West been a leech, man. Kanye West never wrote the majority of his music. I don't really think he wrote none of his music, okay? Jesus Walks was, was wrote by a Chicago rapper named Ron Fest, who actually beat Eminem in a battle way, way back when, okay? Um, the majority of his music is not wrote by him. That's why Rockefeller did not want to sign Kanye. They just wanted Kanye as a producer, but Kanye, you know, went back to the drawing board and, and got some people to write for him. And, um, you know, they signed him as a rapper. Kanye doesn't write, okay? So pretty much Kanye West, you know, pretty much duped this dude, got him to write a whole bunch of shit and work on his album for, for just one song that I don't think was a, was, a, uh, was a single off Scorpion, Lift Yourself, whatever he called it. He hustled Drake. Drake got hustled, you know? Um, and, you know, it is what it is, man. You got to, you know take water under the bridge and, you know, not let it happen again. But on top of that, you got personal with Kanye. And when somebody get personal with you, okay, you know, they trust you enough to, to give you guidance. And he turned around and, and gave it and told Pusha T about it. And then I get to this point, but then he going to beg Drake to stop it. And, 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 uh, I'm dropping it. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have did that. And, and, and this and that, okay, the beef is over. No, you don't get to dictate when the beef is over. Especially when you took my kindness for weakness. I helped you out. I wrote some shit. Probably turned some knobs. Had my producer help you tweak your beats. And then you go out your way. And I, I get personal with you. Then you go out there. He he, he better ha he better be happy to drink. You know, really ain't no straight thug nigga. And just come on there and wreck his jaw, bro. You know, because when Daz was was putting them crips on his head, whoever Daz with, he got a restraining order versus, versus Daz, okay? And at the end of the day, you know, he a mark, man. He's a clown, bro. Kanye West... Is a hundred percent clown, man. I'm not the biggest Drake fan, but at the end of the day, you know your man's got to be for Drake and Pusha T, okay? You know Drake and him start going back and forth. Your man's called Drake out, then Drake make a diss, and then you tell him that personal information about how he had a son with a porn star. But he trusts you with that information, and then you gonna lie and Kanye West say, "Well, you know I didn't I didn't tell him about 
the secret mother and kids. And Drake obviously didn't tell too many other people about that that would get back at him. And plus, you close to Pusha T, then Kanye West, you know you did that. That just shows you how much of a snake Kanye really is. That that Donald Trump stuff that he going around here doing, and I ain't even speaking on that, okay? I'm not even giving that no shine. But that stuff that he doing, man, he really he really a mark. He really a clown. He really fool fool, whatever you calling these dudes these days. And and Drake should continue to say, I slept with your wife, Kim Kardashian. He should continue to oh, well, insinuate that he did and don't kill the rumors, even if he did or didn't. And if he didn't, I would still see with his wife, put a baby in his wife, and make him even more retarded. Because that's what he need. All this this politics he doing for Donald Trump, bug dancing he doing for Trump, all this stuff that I kept it real with you, bro. I, I looked at you for guidance. You said you wanted to be this, you wanted to be this family man, you wanted to be the Quincy Carter music, which Ain't all good, okay? I suspect Kanye is a little bit suspect if you catch what I'm saying. If anybody catch that drift, okay? You want to be all of that, but then you want to stab me in the back like that. I thought I helped you with your album, bro. You know, then you want to say, oh, you don't write, but I helped you write on your album. And that just shows you how these industry dudes is. It's people, that's, it's musicians that I see every day. And some that I know these rappers are dying to be in the industry. Dying to be in the industry. I want to be in the industry. No, make your own industry, man. Make your own hot music. Learn to produce. Learn to engineer. Learn to record yourself. You know, teach somebody that can be your 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 ace boom coon, can be your ace and that. Y'all record, y'all make your own hot shit because there's more money out here being independent if you do it the right way than having slave ownerships and rubbing shoulders with, with these industry dudes. These industry dudes are straight leeches. Um, at the end of the day, Drake should have seen that con from a, way, a, way, a mile away. You know, his producer got there early, told him, Wyoming, though. You know what I'm saying? So this dude basically, you know, you know, he basically used Drake, man. And like I said, man, I'm not the biggest Drake fan. I respect the hustle. I respect the art of his, his, you know, everything he do. I respect his his music value, his entertainment value. Respect him, man, from coming from being an actor and, and being portrayed as a, as a kid actor and becoming into becoming a formable artist that a lot of people respect. But at the end of the day, man, Kanye West just showed you how how bitch made he really is, man. How much of a, of a female that he really is, man. And that's why dudes got trust issues. That's why dudes be walking like ladies. That's why dudes be walking around mad. They can't trust nobody. They don't have nobody to talk to. You know, they just they just sit there staring at the ceiling, staring at the wall, just pondering, thinking. Sometimes your man's be in the days. Y'all be on the day. You be thinking what is what, what his next play gonna be, what his next move gonna be. Because you can't you can't you can't mix with nobody. You can't kick it with nobody. You can't keep it real with nobody. Everybody, all these dudes out here. It's pouring rumors and gossiping about your business like women, bro. It's no more man laws, no more man code with these dudes. You can just conversate and say, you know, look for advice. Then your man, as soon as he leave your house, leave, you know, whatever y'all had the rendezvous spot kicking about your situation, your man's going to tell, you know, some other girl or some other niggas about your situation. And it ain't nothing to hunting no more. These dudes is a hunting. It ain't too many in 100 dudes no more, bro. And that's why I really don't kick it with a lot of dudes. Man, I kick it with myself. And if I can't, you know, you know, pretty much sympathizing there and uh therapy myself man then i'm just gonna you know take it and, and take it in stride man this is from, from a dude that really drink that don't smoke at all that's hard to, to be out here dealing with the pain and the suffering and going through what you go through on a daily basis when you don't have no vices or you don't have no outlet or you don't you know no shit like that so you know drake at least got the outlet of, of doing his music but kanye was an all-time whole nigga i knew he was a whole nigga from our scene him he always had female tendencies dog and if I'm Drake, man, I'm not letting up on. If I'm Drake, I'm breaking his jaw, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm breaking his whole jaw, and I'm impregnating Kim Kardashian, nigga, off rip. You know what I'm saying? Because that that shit was just low down, dirty, bro. Low down, dirty. How he did him, man. And 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 Drake, you know, he was just, you know, I saw him link the interview, the little clip in the description. Drake just took it in stride, man. Like you know, I got got. You know, he took it like any like a real man would. To be honest, you know, he got me. You know what, man? I'm gonna learn from this mistake and never let it happen again. You know, that's the only thing he really could, you know, really could do anything else. I'm going to kill this, you know, woo, 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 pat, 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 you know, I'm going to do this to him. No, that would have made him look even weaker, bro. You know what I'm saying? That would have made him look even weaker. He took it in stride and said, you know what, it is what it is. I'm going to learn from this mistake and ain't going to never give me again. But for real, Kanye, Kanye joke, man. For real, Kanye a whole joke. Man, I don't respect that man, at all. Um... You know, dude helps you on your album. You turn around and backstab him. But, hey, like I said, them industry dudes, man. You hear industry stories from days from dudes that have been in the industry or dudes that have been around industry people, man. They steal people's sounds to stay relevant. They they steal people's music. They, I mean, 
you go back to quote unquote, they said Q stole some of uh um Cypress Hill's music. They said Jazzy Faye used to uh you know shit beats out to Dre and Dre used to put his name on it because he couldn't come up with more beats. You hear this swagger jacking and this music jacking all over music, so you know it is what it is. But the disgraceful thing is he 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 leaked personal business like his messy ass wife Kim Kardashian, her uh sloppy sucker sisters, all right, her her uh dick ride mama, but. Y'all know what it is, man. Good for Sports TV. Let me know how y'all feel. I linked a little clip in the description so y'all can check it out. Y'all know what it is. One time for one time. Forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. If you'd like to make a donation, keep the page uh, trending in the right uh, uh, the right direction. You know, uh, please do. The PayPal link is there under donation. Shout out to everybody that support what we're doing. Y'all know what the business is. We gone.